popular. It's 20, 30 minutes I'm going to break God's word. I pray, bring life to your children. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let everybody shout a believing amen. amen. I want to preach on a topic. Up. Make us a God. Up. Make us what? A God. Taught me to Exodus chapter 32. Exodus 32. I will read from verse 1 to 7. And then, then we run with that. Exodus chapter 32 from verse 1. And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron and said unto him, Up, make us God, gods. We shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives and of your sons and of your daughters and bring them unto me. And all the people break off the golden earring which were in their ears and brought them unto Aaron and he received them at their hands and fashion it. Take note of the word. And fashion it. To fashion means he molding, create it, try to do creativity and molding. And fashion it with a graving tools. He fashioned it with what? Graving tools. After he had made it a molding calf and then said, This be thy God, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it. And Aaron made proclamation and said, Tomorrow, take note of what, what the Bible says here, when Aaron saw the image, the golden calf, he has made up. When he saw the way it is, then what the Bible says, he built an altar before it. And Aaron make a proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. Verse 6 says, And they rose up early on the morrow and offered what? Burnt offering and brought peace offering and the people sat down to eat and to drink and rose up to play. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go, get thee done for thy people, which thou bringest out of the land of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. In verse 17, the Bible says, And when Joshua, verse 17 and 8, And when Joshua heard the noise of the people, as they shouted, he said unto Moses, There is a noise of war in the camp. And he said, It is not the voice of them that shout for masteries, neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome, but the noise of them that sing, Do I hear? do I hear. Verse 19 says 19. And it came to pass as soon as he came night unto the camp that he saw the calf and the dancing and Moses' anger was hot and he cast the tables out of his hands and break them 
beneath the mount. Verse 21. And Moses said unto Aaron, What did these people unto thee, that thou hast brought so great a sin upon them? And Aaron said, Let not thy ang the anger of my Lord was hot. Was hot. Was, was hot. That noise the people that they are set on mischief. For they said unto me, Make us gods. We shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. And I said unto them, Whosoever had any golden, let him break it off. So they gave it me that I cast into the fire. And there came out this calf. This calf. And when Moses saw that the people were naked, for Aaron had made them naked unto their shame among their enemies, then Moses stood in the gates of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. And he said unto them, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Put every man his sword by his side, and go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor, and the children of Levi, did according to this word of Moses, and there fell of the people that day about three thousand men. In other way, three thousand men were killed. I'm sure you wonder why I decided to read a long verse of scriptures, and you know I have. This is a longest verse of scriptures text I have ever read since I started ministry. Am I, am I correct? I don't read a lot of scriptures this way. But I decided to read it so that you can get where, you can get it from the scripture as it is. So by the time I start giving the sense and interpretation to it, you can get the picture exactly how it is look like. Moses was called by God. The call was authentic. No argument about it. The call was real. Moses was called. He was a peculiar child among the children. From childhood, they discovered this child is a peculiar one. They could sense it. They could see it. So they decided not to just expose. Somehow, they threw this child into the sea. God did something miraculously. And he was raised up in the king's palace. Take note of that. He was not raised up in the house of Israel. He was not raised up in the house of Israel. The elders of the church. He was not raised up. He wasn't even looking physically with dressing like an Israelite. But he knew his history. He knew where he came from. Moses, the means they drew him out of the water. And he knew that somebody somewhere gave birth to me. And eventually he knew. Gave birth to him. And eventually he knew. But he was not missing up with the children of Israel. You know when the Bible says he was learned in all the acts and the magician and the mysteries of Egypt. Do you know it's in the Bible? He learned all the magician, the mysteries of the of Pharaoh. That is the nation, that's where he came from. But he knew where he came from. Even though he was not associated with them. Until one day, he saw an Israelite. 
an Egyptian fighting. And he came to help the Israelites and kill the Egyptian. And when he knew that the thing was no more hidden, he ran away. And it was when he ran away, they now, God now came to him. Why did God come to him? He saw the heart of Moses. If this man can fight, nobody dare touch Egypt. Egyptian. So long you are an Egyptian, you dare not touch because they are the royal house. They are the Obas. All the Israelites, they were slaves. They were houseboys. You dare not open mouth to talk to, to an A small child of an Israel can slap an elderly man. You slave. Come on. That's the elderly Israel. They were being humiliated, disgraced, dishonored, messed up, embarrassed. Every day with hard labor, hardship and suffering, tormented. They were eating their own dogs. But when God saw that Moses took the challenge to kill an Egyptian, he dear did that to kill him. He, he now discovered, now discovered that Moses had the body for my people to be delivered. Am I communicating? Moses had the body. God discovered Moses had the body for my people to be delivered. And God made up his mind. If I can show this man my power, if I can show this man my grace and help him because of that body he has, he will do great things. God must see something in you before he will do something. If he not see the body you have concerning the church of God, if he did not see the body you have concerning the ministry, he will not do something. He must see burden. He must see something in you. He must see how you are jealous. God, I mean, jealous to defend the house of God. He must, he must see how you are addicted. When I mean addiction, you are addicted. Some women are addicted to certain things. For example, some women are addicted to makeup. If they don't make up, they can't go out. Am I right? So women are addicted to perfume. If they don't, they perfume before they sleep, they perfume after they wake up. They put perfume in their bag. And you need to see someone who is addicted to ogogoro or beer or wine or ubrukutu. I'm sorry for those of you in Cardinal State. And I'm sorry for those who drink sapele water, ogogoro. Even when they sleep at the gota, they will wake up and demand for more brukutu or gogoro beer. True of us. Because they are addicted to it. A man who, who used to take drugs and, and after taking drugs, he will mess up and misbehave. And, they, and you think he will not take drugs again the following day or two days after he's back to the drugs. You can't stop because of the addiction. Moses was addicted to save the Israelites from the torment of the Egyptians. So he killed the Egyptians. And when God saw his addiction, God now said, if I pick this woman and use him, he will change the course of Israel. The same way God saw the addiction in the heart of David. David was a man who, was, who risked his life to save his own father's sheep by killing a lion and a leopard. If God look at him, if this man, if I can expose him a little bit, if I can expose him a little, for him to risk his life to defend his father's sheep by killing a lion and leopard with his hand, if I take him to take care of Israel, he will risk his life for me to defend Israel. And when he saw Goliath, he took the same chalice back to Goliath. 
said, I will kill you. And he did that at 19 years old. 19 years old boy. Killing Goliath. Killing Goliath. And he became world leader. One of the best leaders. Because he took his life into his hand. God is looking for boys. And God is looking for girls. Who will be so addicted with this ministry. Who will be so addicted with the God of this church. Who will be so addicted to the God that they stand for. And they are ready to take an oath. The Bible says, who is he? Except those who swear to their heart. When you look at Psalm, Psalm 15. Say, those who swear to their heart. Who is ready to swear to their own hearts? He said, those are the people who are serious. Those are the people who will not mess up my name. Those are the people who are, who, have, who are giving up and they are not ready to take alternative. Those are the people who, who God has touched their mind. Listen to me. When I read the Bible, in act of apostle, I discovered that the apostles were so addicted to the God they believe. They that were married, they were acting as if they were not married. All the disciples, apart from John, the beloved, all of them were killed. And nobody stopped. They keep preaching the gospel even though you kill them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They stoned Stephen. They saw it. And they still keep preaching. They killed Philip. They saw it. And they still keep preaching. In fact, the more you pursue them, the more they spread. The more you pursue them, everywhere, the Bible says, everywhere they go, as they go, they are planting churches. You think they will go to some other places and do something not? No. In their mind, they are so addicted with the work of the ministry that anywhere they go, they are explosion. Friends, listen to me. Time has come, you should be drunk and addicted with the God of this commission. The God of this commission is a trustable God. The God of this commission is a reliable God. Hallelujah. I've seen people. I've been to countries. I've been to many countries. Asia world. I've been to Asia world. I've been to the western world. I've been to almost many countries. But there are things I have seen with some people who were addicted to the God they serve. It amazed me. You can see a man who is ready to he will put broken bottles broken bottles and lie on that bot, broken bottle praying towards the moon. The body will be bringing blood and they will not get up because they feel that in their own God and religiousness, if they stay in that broken bottom and their body is gushing out blood and they look at that moon and be praying, then God will answer. One man like that came out also and decided never to sleep inside house. In the rain and in the sun he was outside. Married with children. Although the son later became saved all because they feel that they were committed to their god and god is looking for you if it's listen to me if you are committed to this cause of this church anywhere you go you carry this church along anywhere you go you carry this church along you are transferred to sokoto you carry this church along you are transferred to just you carry this church. He said, although I'm not a pastor, but I cannot stay without this church being there. Because of commitment. I mean, being, being yoked to this ministry, to the cause of the work. When God sees this thing, he will look at you. Say, I will do something. That was what God saw in Moses. And God now appeared in a pillar of fire. Say, Moses, I have seen your heart. If I give you something now, 
you can do something for me. God is looking for a man. The Bible says, I sought for a man, but I found not. If it's a woman, there was a time God was looking for somebody. He saw nobody. He saw Ketrukuma. He saw Ketrukuma, who was staying with a pastor. And he was staying with a pastor. He could not, she could not even go time to go to university or go to school. She took the, she, she was busy working for the pastor he was staying with. He evangelism, because of evangelism and the gospel and things like that, the woman could not go to university or could not continue education. Because she was too much. She will gather some girls into evangelism, prayer, and seeking God's word. And he was an in-law to the person he was living with. And the pastor he was living with, when God was looking for somebody, he was not looking for a miss, 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 someone. He was looking for someone that had big, a passion, that was addicted to something. And God poured the spirit of God in. Ketrukuma said one thing. Say, God, the anointing that God gave to him was supposed to be given to a man. But the man was not ready. God now decided to pour it upon her. And till today, she has died many years. Till tomorrow, you will, start, you, will, you will be reading her books. You can't stop it. She's a story today. A woman. She has no husband. She has no child. But her story has not ended. Those who have children, they, they have forgotten their children. Those who have husbands, they have forgotten their husband. Is their name, is what they did, is still that is written everywhere. Can you tell me the name of uh, the, the, any existing church name of uh, John Wesley? Do you, can, you, can you point and say this is the existing church, the existing generation of John Wesley or of uh, Finney? No, but the name John Wesley, the name Finney will still be studied till 10 years, 100 years to come. It is not the ch husband. It is not the wife. It is not the numbers of children. It is the impact you place in the course of the gospel. What do you do in the course of the gospel? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What is your mind concerning the work we are doing here? Oh no, I come to church. Some of us when we come to church, we come to church uh, at any time. By the time I started praying for prayer requests, we were just like this. Just, just up to this staircase. Then later before the church get food. Am, 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 I, am I saying the truth? We yeah, anyway, we'll come to church at any time you like. You come to church any time. Whether pastor, is that Moses? Never Moses. Is that Daniel? Never Daniel. Is that Ketukuma? Never Ketukuma. Is that, it's a, wom, a woman founded the uh, uh, um, First Square Church. Emmy McFasses. Because of that, I gave that Emmy to someone. Amy, a woman founded That woman was a rugged, I mean, rugged person. A rugged person. You will see her on the street. Because she was sold out for, she was not looking for makeup to make herself fine. She was not looking for how to kill the pimples and eczema in her face. She was not looking for her to be dignified and be well respected. She was like a crazy mad woman. Let me use that word. In the streets. They took her, they gave her all the names you can give to her. But after when God breathed upon that woman, woman married with children, she has plenty children. I mean, plenty children. I I think just do you remember how many children she has? Many children. She has plenty of children, but yet she never allowed her children to stop her from the things of God. John, John, John Wesley mother has plenty of children too. Has uh, close how many? Seventeen children. John Wesley mother is it seventeen? How many? Ten? Nineteen? Yes, nineteen. John Wesley mother have 19 children. But you can see almost all the children are firebrand. Firebrand. They were one woman. He prays for death every day and she was committed to God. Some of us because of children. Because of us. I call one of my I call one of my my, 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 my PA who, who's following me. Assistants who are following me. I say, do you see this church? He say, who? How many you, can you rate how many people that came first? You see, they are mostly women. Women were here on time. Men are here late. Almost 99% of those who were sitting around us were women. And 
very few men. And many of us will be preaching in the stage and say it's women that make church, that come to church late. When women make more of the church and they come on church on time. And when men come to church late. You don't have right to come here and preach and condemn women. Don't ever stay here and condemn women. Because women made the church better. They come to church on time. They come to church on time. They are more... Uh, Onyeka, did you, you... I told you, assess the women. You saw assess women. Almost everywhere behind us were all women, apart from two, three men. If you condemn these women, I will slap you and send... I will tell all, this, all the military men here, all those military men guiding this church with their gun, to carry you with gun and, I mean, handcuff you and send you away. Don't criticize my women any longer. They are better off. Hallelujah. You think I'm playing? If they gather the offering of the women, even if it's one more kobo, it's more than the ten kobo of the men. The one more kobo these women are giving, one more kobo, one more kobo, one kobo. If they gather out the one more kobo, it's more than the whole offering of the men. May God forgive some of you. In Jesus' name. So why do you all criticize the women? Don't criticize these women again. If you touch my women, I deal with you. <laughs> hey, I don't talk now. <laughs> yeah. I don't talk now. <laughs> why I talk if you misbehave? Now women go put you in your position. Uh, 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 am I saying the truth, sir? Uh, we say, Pastor, don't talk. Uh. Pastor, don't talk. Pastor, don't talk. Put the attachment. Put the attachment here and put the oligogoro here. With all the makeup, fake face and fake shoulder and fake teeth. Uh, now we go deal with you where we But you are special, eh? Come on, if you are sitting by a woman, tell you woman you are self special. Very good people, helpful, loving, caring, and supporting. But you should know we are still the head, eh? We are still the head. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, listen to me. Then he came to a point. I wish I can finish this message. I wish I can finish this message. But I don't think I can finish it. But came to a point. They were going out of Egypt to the promised land. See what happened here. God told Moses, say, Moses, come up here. Just take some holiday. Don't stay. Not one month. More than a month. Can you say? More than a month. Moses was still with the people. He never went alone. He took the resident pastor along. Can you imagine that account? Who was the resident pastor? George. He took the resident pastor. Aaron is a prayer warrior. He's the one doing the prayer and obligation and sacrifice for the people. He's like the Oyenka. <laughs> he took the assistance, which is Joshua. I said, come. It was only him that God said, come for holiday for more than a month. When he was going, he grabbed, he grabbed Joshua. Follow me. Then he said, Stay here. This is the mountain of God. Stay here. I will go there and pray. And he went to the other side and was praying. For more than a month, this, he never thought of what this man would eat. More than a month. This guy is... is the guy has the right to say, ah, man of God has stayed for some weeks. Let me go back and take some guguru and epa and come back. The man refused to quit. He stayed in his position. He has every reason to go back. He has every reason to be disorganized. But because the man of God said, stay here and wait, the Joshua never left his position. While the man of God was praying, he was hearing some sound going on in the camp. In the camp. 
But even the camp did not tell him, let me just go. Can you consider Saul? Can you con think about Saul and Joshua? Saul said, well, the man of God has not come. Let me do something myself. But Joshua never decided to do anything himself. He said, I will wait and take the instruction of my pastor who has gone there for over a month and refused to come back. He waited. Nothing dis distracted him. He was not disorganized. He was not looking for help from anybody. He stayed waiting and ah, if it's you, you woke up and said, ah, Moses, now you got called now. Why are you going to call me a long look? You don't even think of how to provide food. Why do you put me for compulsory fasting when it is you, God says you fast and go apart? Then he was talking with God. He had vision from God. He had voice from God. He heard from God. He talked. Then he now came back to meet Joshua. Say, Joshua. And as soon as he gets Joshua, Joshua now said, Ah, Moses, prophet Moses, I hear sound of people, you know, you know, like as if it's a sound of war in the camp. He's a man of war. But because he has to obey the instruction not to go and fight. But the instruction is for him to wait. Will you wait? Will you wait? He said, wait! Don't go anywhere. He waited. He stayed over a month. And eventually, Moses now said, it is not the sound of war. Because it is Moses that had the vision. They hear the same noise, but different interpretation. He was hearing war, but the Moses was hearing music. Why? Because the Moses himself is the one that carried the oil. He's the one that carried the grace. He's the one that hear from God and pass instruction to Joshua. Joshua can hear, but he can hear with error. Joshua can hear, can hear with mistake. But the Moses is the one that hears from God. Listen to me. Who are you hearing from? And eventually, Moses now gave him the reinterpretation of what you have. He said, look, it is not the sound of um, war, but music we are hearing. And they now went together. And went together. When he got there, he discovered that the people are making and worshipping idol. And Moses said, ah, I only will travel for less than two months. I only went to mountain for less than two months. How come within two months you are not serving idol? How come? The Bible says he was mad. Then, you are not Joshua. You are not Aaron, sorry. You are not Aaron. But come, let me just... We are dramatizing. When we finish, we'll pray for you. Sorry, the spirit of Aaron will not enter you. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So, and Aaron now say, Ah, Papa, you know these people are stiff hearted people. You know what they can do. You know what they can do. They ask me for a God. He say, As for you that has gone to be with God, we don't know what has happened to you. Maybe a lion has eaten you. And Joshua, maybe you have died. Something has happened. Mystery has happened to you. So we say, we are looking for a representative. We are looking for an alternative. Who will take us to the promised land. So we decide to make this calf. And he said, I collected the earrings from the, our children and our wives. And I cast it into the fire. And all of a sudden, a calf came out. Is it true? Is it true? It was not true. He was being plain smart. He was trying to. Did he cast it in the fire and the thing came out? Zoom. The, when the Bible was given the explanation, he said he fashioned it, he molded it, he created it. But when he was reporting as if it was not his fault, too. As if he just take the golden earring and cast it to the fire and zoom, an animal came out. 
He said, they came out out of this. And say what? And the Bible says, Aaron has made people sin grievously against God. And he say, who is on the Lord's side? Say, who is on the Lord's side? Who will stand even when Aaron has fallen? See that, it's not you. Who will stand even Aaron has fallen? He will stand even when the whole children of Israel has fallen. And eventually, the sons of Levi came out. He said, I am the Lord's side. I will stand where or whatever I come with. Say, Moses, I'm going to stand by you. I'm going to stand with you. Your God will be my God. I will serve your God forever. I am not looking for alternative. I'm not looking for solution. If God will not do it for me, I will not seek for any. It is your God that will know. I will not worship the golden calf. I will follow you. you even if you like, go to the mountain and stay there for 40 days and 40 nights. When you come back, I will still be waiting for the Lord. It is you, it is you, and you! And he said, come on. Some of the sons of Levi came out and they take the sword. You see, go and kill your brothers who refuse to believe what I'm saying. Go and kill your brother who refuse to obey what I'm saying. Those who say, I am not going to stand. Those who say, I will not believe. Those who say, I will not hold on to the truth. Those who say, I, 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 I am too tired. Moses, you have delayed to come. What has stopped you all this while? I'm not interested any longer. I'm discouraged. Those who are discouraged. Those who, are, who, 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 who want to give up easily. Because Moses could not come. Say, so go and kill them. And the Bible says, he took sword. And he went to all his brethren. You see, I could see John killing his own brother. I could see someone killing his own wife. They were killing their own wives. And their own brothers and their own children who refused to stand on the truth. He was killed. They were killing. They were, Levites were killing their brothers. They were killing their sisters. They were killing their, their neighbors. They were killing all of them. The Bible says 3,000 people were killed that same day because they were not on the Lord's side. I want to say to you, who is on the Lord's side? I want you to stand on your feet. It is only those who are on the Lord's side. It is only those who can stand for God. God. God is, can God depend on you? Please, can God depend on you? God is looking for somebody who can trust. Because, you see, I'm preaching this message because God wants to use somebody. God wants to use who? I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. God wants to use somebody. If it's a woman he sees, he will use the person. If it's a man he sees, he will use the person. Now hear me. Listen to me very clean and clear. Listen to me clean and clear. What does it take for you to stand for the Lord? Think about where you have been before. Why are you discouraged so soon? Why did you give us so quick? You can't wait. For the little things you see, you can't wait. You've not faced things like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they went through fire. They had no prayer warrior like Aaron, like Oyeka. And yet they stood firm. They stood firm. Dollars increased, and they stood firm. Rice increased, and they stood firm. And instead, they were even killing one another. They were stood firm. A woman was told to give his last meal to the prophet. Hey, say pastor. A woman was told to give his last meal to the prophet. And the woman gave her last meal. Her last meal. Her last meal. Her last meal. Her last last gold. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Hey, man of God. Can you imagine? Please, I'm going to spend some time today. Even if you close late, no problem. Can you imagine people giving their gold? Gold. Gold for idol. Gold. People giving their gold, bro. Gold. Gold. You know how women value gold. 
You know how women value gold. People giving their golden earrings, golden chains, golden bangles, golden if there was any golden wristwatch. There are some wristwatch today. It cost 25 million naira. I mean, wristwatch 25, 30 million, 50 million, 50 million naira wristwatch alone. There are some earrings so expensive, so expensive, and they were removing it with, with happiness. With happiness, giving it to to fashion idol, and you, you are holding your gold. You can't give your gold to God. You can't give your gold to God. You are hiding the money. You are hiding your when people are giving gold to idol. Unbelievers have been killing cow and buried it on the ground because of their doctrine, their evil belief. You can't give. And you say, God, do something. God wants you to do something before you will do something. God wants you. It is you he's waiting for. He saw something in Moses and decided to take Moses. He saw something in David. He decided to take David. He saw something in, in you may criticize uh, 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 Peter. Peter denied Jesus. Peter, but there's something Jesus see in Peter that makes Peter to be the head. How many of them carried knife and was able to cut somebody's head neck? somebody's ear. All of them ran away. The man carried a knife. Mm. Bam! Did you see Jesus discipline him and disqualify him and say you are no longer be disciple again because you were carrying knife to kill somebody, to cut somebody's neck? No. Yet that is the, still the best of Jesus. He's still the best. He's still the leader because of the heart he has for God, for Jesus. It was pressure of not being killed that make him to deny Christ. Who want to die? <laughs> Who want to die? Listen to me. If God has taken you so far, why being why giving up so soon? Now think about what God has done for you before. Just cast your mind back. How he healed you. How he saved you. How some few years ago, the kind of miracle he did for you. The way he delivered you. The way he blessed you. The way he did something to you. you just think about Just think about things he did for you 10 years ago. I, you forget things so quickly. You forget things so quickly, friend. Think about what he did for you 10 years ago. Think about what he did for you 5 years ago. Think about where you were before and he brought you out. And he brought you to where you are. And today, because you did not have Guguru and Ekpa to eat. You are complaining. And because you know you will, you're not picking off end, you don't you don't make use of your senses. When you remember the past, you should praise God. Even now you don't have what it takes now. Don't forget that you were once blessed. And that God who blessed you can also bring you back again. It's no use running away from God. It's no use complaining. It's no use, I won't come to church. It's no use saying, oh, well, he's the man of God. Uh, let me see the man. If I can't see the man of God, become offended. Friends, if that is you, you don't have the heart that God is looking for. God's looking for people that will stick, that will stay, that will serve him, that will, will be so addicted that will be so convinced, that will be so drunk, that will be so toxicated with his work in this church. And God is looking at people who say, the God of this church is my church. I am not going anywhere. I am not serving any other God. In the campus is the God of this church. My rigging tone is the God of this church. My phone call violation is the God of this church. The, 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 my gate stamp is the God of this church. Come now, child. Anywhere I am is the God. I am proud of the God of this church. God is looking for people that will be addicted. And Moses said, Who is on the lost side? And the people came out. And the rest of them that were not on the lost, were not on the long side, they were killed. I want you to put on your feet now and talk to God. I say, God, I am on the Lord's side. I want to live. 
and I want to be the one of the people that will be the destroyer of the enemy, but I will never be destroyed. I want to receive the blessing and enjoy God's blessing. Open your mind and begin to pray. I want to hear you pray. I want to hear you pray. Open your mind and begin to pray. Talk to God. I speak for the weak. I'm an advocate for the young. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm a child of covenant. It's my time to laugh. I have conquered it all Impossible is nothing Impossible is nothing